Welcome to Music Monday. I'm your host, Adam Duke. Today, we're at the Ninth Ward at Bayville, talking to Stephen Babcock. My name is Stephen Babcock. I'm a local musician here in Buffalo. Um, background as far as getting into music, I started playing music uh, coming from a musical family. My dad is a piano player, he's an excellent piano player, and he kind of got myself and my brothers into music when we were about three or four years old. Um, I kind of never looked back. I started playing the guitar um, and the drums around the age of like 13 or 14, and we've essentially been writing songs ever since. It's been a huge um, part of my life, and I, it's something I've always known I wanted to do. I think it's kind of one of those things that where the key meets the lock and it just clicks. And that was that's what music has always been for me and, and for my family. So it's um, music is a huge part of my my life, and that's kind of my journey. It takes me through through college, and then obviously to now where I'm I'm living here and I'm touring a lot, traveling the country, playing shows, and playing shows locally right here in Buffalo, New York. I think the the one artist that comes to mind that's inspired me the most is probably John Mayer. Um, I, my older brother had uh, the Room for Squares CD when it came out. And I remember going into his room and taking it and listening to it over and over and over again. And that really made me want to write music. And that kind of inspired me to pick up the guitar. I was, again, originally playing drums. And then I kind of wanted to really write music. And so John Mayer really inspired that. Nowadays, I really love this guy, um, Donovan Woods, who's from Canada. He spends a lot of his time either in Toronto or in Nashville. Um, he's a songwriter. He's also a great artist. His um, whole style, his whole musical journey is really inspiring to me. And I take a lot of uh, inspiration from that. As you said, we're here at uh, Bayville Ninth Ward. This has been like a, a dream venue to be a part of, to play at. Um, to, it's been a dream venue to be a part of and play here, and it's exciting that I get to play here. I'll be playing here October 27th. Um, it's just, this is like a, a dream come true for me. Uh, other places I love to play, I've played at Nietzsche's before. I've played at Mohawk Place. Um, there's a cafe in uh, Clarence and now Larkinville called Toasted. I've played a lot of my early shows in Buffalo there. Um, it's really been a great experience. Buffalo as a music town has been a really great place to be a part of um, because the, it really is a city of good neighbors. Every, all the venues I've played at, all the places I've played, people really come out, really show up for the shows, and the venues are great, and it's just a great music community to be a part of. Uh, right now I'm working on an album. Um, I have some singles coming out. I have a single coming out September 8th, uh, and then I have another single coming out October 13th, and then an album coming out this November um, that we're doing kind of some special events and we're partnering with some people to make that come, come to life. So really excited for that. Um, the new album is kind of a, it's been a, a really a multiple year process, put an album out last year, but this album in particular has a lot behind it. I'm really excited for the album to come out. I have a bunch, I've been putting out a, pretty much putting out a new single every month, uh, for the last, um, gosh, uh, for the last few years now. Um, the next new single coming out is called Meant For Me. It comes out September 8th. Um, and that is, um, it's kind of a perfect song for fall. I'm really excited for it to come out, kind of hit the airwaves. This, uh, there's this group called Tuesday Night, which has, they've really kind of taken me under their wing uh, when I uh, started playing out in town, and they've been really great to work with. My friend Tim Britt is another great artist. It's local songwriter guy, great guy, uh, handsome fella. Um, Brian Williams uh, is another great musician I love locally. Um, there's just, it's really hard to say, I mean, those are just some that come to mind, but there's actually so many musicians I've worked with and got a chance to know that have really been, um, just awesome, awesome people. And the city of good neighbors, like I said earlier, really like carries, you know, everyone here is so, um, so nice to work with, so easy to, to work with. So, you know, they'll open a door for you anywhere they can. And that's a lot of music towns aren't like that. And so to be in a place where you can really get your feet wet very easily with other people who are really want to be not just musicians with you, but friends, that's it's super awesome. I think ideal lineup, it would have to be John Mayer, uh, Donovan Woods, um, myself. I think I'd probably throw in a set from Holly Humberstone. She's a songwriter out of England who I just really love for music lately. And then probably just for like the laughs, probably like the 1975 or something like, um, or like Slayer, like just a complete left turn. I just, I really love, there's, even though I like write singer, songwriter music, there's like a part of me that really loves like hard rock music. Um, I, as a, as a drummer originally, like I just love, I love that side of music and it's not something I always get to explore, but I love to listen to it. So I'd probably throw some kind of like curveball in there, you know, they'd be like, what's this doing here? That's, that would be that. Yeah. So uh, I'll be performing at Music is Arts on September 10th on the patio stage with uh, a band um, 
with my full band, I should say, uh, 2 to 2.30 um, during the day, which would be great. Um, we're playing here um, October 27th here at Ninth Ward with Tuesday Night Brian Williams. Um, it should be a really awesome show. Um, and then uh, there's going to be an album release event for the album coming out. The album's coming out in November, so we're going to be doing some kind of special event for that as well, which is really exciting. Um, and then I'm going to be on tour for most of the, the fall. So if you're in the Northeast or, or in kind of the Mid-Atlantic uh, or out to Chicago, you could probably see me on a tour routing. All my tour dates are up on my website and on my Instagram. Um, very, very excited for that as well. Check out everything online. Uh, again, the name is Stephen Babcock. It's Stephen with a PH, not a V. Uh, um, there's everything's online on Instagram at Stephen B Music, um, Spotify, Apple Music. Um, check out the show dates. Check out the new singles that are coming out on Spotify on Apple Music, um, and come to a show. Um, Buffalo is a great place to meet people, and uh, what better way to meet a, lo meet a local musician than at a show? So come say hi. Um, and uh, come, you know, introduce yourself. I'd love to meet you. If you're if you're looking to do music, or you're part of the scene, or you're just a fan of music, I'd love to get to know you. So please come say hello. Yeah, that's probably about the the long and the short of that. But yeah, that was Stephen Babcock. You can visit the links down below in the story and check out more of his music there. And for Music Monday, I'm Adam Duke. News four. <laughs>